the Honorable Shibambo. Thanks, th thank you very much, uh, oh, Speaker. Yeah, now, Deputy President, it's common cause that government policies have dismally failed to achieve inclusive economic growth in South Africa. And here are the indicators. 8% of the land is uh, transferred since 1994. Outside of the institutional investors, black people have got less than 5% of banks' ownership. They've got less than 1% of insurance industry ownership. Out of the 8.9 trillion rands that is managed by asset management companies, less than 5% is managed by black asset managers. More than 70% of government's procurement stand, spend benefits white companies. And the, and the few of you who have benefited from black economic empowerment are just indebted staff riders in white corporations. So, so it, it vividly illustrates that black people have not benefited out of government interventions in the economy. Wouldn't you think that one, it will be much more progressive to legislate a minimum of 50% ownership of black people of the South Africa's economy because everything else that we have done in the past 23 years has failed. And added to that, don't you think that this is the right time for black political parties to unite and change the constitution to expropriate land without compensation? Thank you very much. The Honorable Deputy President. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Shibambo, thank you very much uh, for uh, putting those statistics. I mean, those, some of those statistics are debatable, yeah. and we could possibly sit down and debate them. But the truth is, on the economic side, we have not made as much progress as we had anticipated. That is the reality. The economy of our country is still white-owned, white-controlled, and that poses a real challenge to all of, should pose a real challenge to all of us because we should not, having attained the vote for all South Africans, just think that all what they ever wanted was the vote and the rest, like economic power, was not important. Of course, economic power is important and we should in make sure that everything that we do, we go and vest economic power in the hands of the majority of our people. Now, various measures, have been put in place. The broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Act was put in place, employment equity, and a whole number of other measures. And admittedly, many of such are not and have not borne the fruit that we expected. So hence, the governing party has come forward with uh, the intervention of radical uh, ec you know, economic transformation, whose elements, whose elements were clearly outlined by the President, by the Minister of Finance, and as the year ensues, you're going to hear various ministers, as they come up for their votes, they will also be speaking to the radical economic transformation concept to make sure that we move the issue of radical economic transformation forward. And all I can say is that, yes, uh, we have not made as much progress as we had anticipated. We will be making progress because that has now become the key focus of this governing party. We're going to uh, be coming up with programs, interventions, and initiatives that are going to move the needle in a way where black people are going to have a sense and feel that, they, yes, they are going to benefit from the economy. You just look at procurement. Yes, you have said 70% uh, of white companies benefit. That is now going to be turned on its head. It's going to be turned on its head. We want the majority uh, of uh, black people, co black people's companies to benefit from that. We're going to be doing a whole lot of other interventions. And I say, watch this space. You're going to see great progress and changes beginning to ensue as we go forward. Thank you very much.